How's it going, people of the world? EJ Allen Cosplay here, and today I'm taking a break from counting down to simple cosplays to talk about cosplay makeup. If you don't know what our simple cosplay series is, check in the description box below where there will be a lovely link and you can get some cosplay inspiration. But what is a costume without makeup to make you more of the part? So for every costume I have ever done, or though it may not look like it because my makeup styles are pretty similar, I design out a completely unique cosplay makeup for it. So each character has their own way their face has to look and it uses different techniques and tools and all that jazz. So I thought it'd be cool if I sat down and talked you through essential cosplay makeup and tools to help you create even more cool and inspiringly awesome looks. So let's do it. Let's count down some essential cosplay makeup items that I quite basically couldn't make myself look at the parts I do without. So let's do it! Yay! Alright, we're gonna start off super damn basic with cleanser, toner, and moisturizer. Three of your basic priming products for your skin. If you don't know what they do, it's like a whole other story. But basically, cleanse your skin first, then tone it, then add moisturizer, let it set a little bit, and you'll have a lovely base to put your makeup on top of. It's super essential, it's really helpful, and any makeup artist would basically tell you to do the same. Try to get moisturizers that have some protection if it's for like daytime makeup, so SPF in it, just to sort of help yourself not get sunburned, it's cool that they're there. And try to make sure that you pick a cleanser, toner, and moisturizer that works with your skin type. You don't want one that's too harsh, to be very sensitive, all that kind of stuff. But these are your basic priming tools. You can also buy primers, but I live by a cleanser, a toner, and a moisturizer, and that is my starting routine. I cleanse, I tone, I moisturize. And if you're wondering how I put the cleanser, Toner and moisturizer ones. I just use cotton pads. You need lots of cotton pads, get lots of those. They're helpful for everything, trust me. So once you've cleansed, toned, and moisturized, you're gonna wanna move on to foundation. And I have two different types. I have a liquid and a powder. You're gonna need both, they're also mousse ones, but choose what works best with your skin tone. Makeup is kinda like that. You choose what works best for you as a person, and that's the way. So you start off by putting on your lovely, lovely liquid foundation. Remember to make sure it actually matches your skin tone. You don't wanna get one that's too dark and you end up like looking really orange. That's not cool, it doesn't blend very well. Try to get one that actually matches your skin tone, check it on like a little satch here, just around your face, give it a little test when you're buying it, make sure it matches. I actually have foundations that are one tone lighter and one tone darker as well because in the summer obviously I'm out in the sun so I get a little bit of tan and in the winter there's not really sun so I get paler. Also you can use some really cool tricks with foundation to help conceal spots and blemishes by matching up tones. So if you don't want to draw attention to a blemish you've got, you put a little bit darker foundation on top of your concealer, just like one tone darker and it actually helps hide it. So that, that's really Really cool, really helpful to make me look like I have lovely anime type skin when I really, really don't. Uh, as for the powder foundation, you will usually put it on top of your foundation once you put on your concealer and all that, and you just use it to set. So try to pick one that matches your skin tone. I personally use like the NYX translucent powder, so it's white but it doesn't show up on the face, and it's just really helpful to set things. I do have some that are actually my normal powder types, but you know, you can, you can use something like this. Translucent helps to set stuff, so it's good. Oh, and if you're wondering if I use any special tools for putting on foundation, I do. I use a flat head foundation brush to apply my foundation like my liquid one to my skin and then I smooth it out with a nice poofy poofy brush and you can also use poofy poofy brush to put on your powder foundation or if you're like me you can use a cool little sponge and beat your face beat beat so cute you know like in the movies where you see kids trying to beat it <laughs> There are a lot of different brushes, by the way, and you'll learn a lot of them as we go through this video. I'm just covering essentials. I will cover brushes in much more depth in a later date if that's what you guys want to see. But that's all you need for foundation, basically. You're good. You've primed your skin, and then you've got a bit of foundation. So we're making a really good base to work. You should always have foundation in your kit for cosplay makeup. It doesn't matter what it is. Yeah, you're going to need foundation. It is your base. <laughs> All right, after foundation, we move on to concealer. This is the concealer I like to use. Now, most concealers have a little bit of lightener to them, so they actually kind of draw attention to what you're concealing, which isn't great. I ideally also use a concealer palette, which has different tones of concealers and powders, and you use those for various different tricks. Different shadings of like concealer will do different things. So if you want to neutralize red, you'd use a different color to if you say we're neutralizing bags under your eyes. It's that kind of thing. So you can get away with the most basic, just literally some concealer like this and I usually just dab like you know some of it on my hand uh nice and cool on my hand and if you guys can see this camera is really new but yeah I dab a little bit on my hand and then I use a concealer brush to actually like get it onto my face but I don't use my concealer brush to blend I actually use a different type of sponge I use like an egg shaped sponge or a sponge like this and I just kind of push it into my face to help it go on the face so that's what you need you want a good concealer and like I said concealer palettes that come in like a powder form those are great to cover over as well and you 
you can use them to hide different like things like like I said you can neutralize colors with concealer so get a nice concealer palette get a nice concealer and get a nice brush I have this cute little handy brush which is actually a foundation brush and a concealer brush in one which makes it easy to transport to cons when I need to do a lot of different makeup styles so there you go that would be my next essential items for you guys okay so you know you got a nice primed base you got a good foundation to build off if you've done the concealer what are you gonna do next now there are very cool tricks to making your face look in different ways, whether you want to bring out a feature or hide a feature. You do that with contouring and highlighting, which means having a really good contour and highlighter kit is essential. So you can do it in numerous ways. So you can do it in a stick like this bad boy, or you can do it in like palettes which are more powdery. You can get mixes which are just contour, you can get ones which are highlighter as well, but both of them are gonna be essential to you. So my preference is NYX. I absolutely adore NYX makeup. So this one's a contour and highlighter stick in one. So you've got contour on one side and highlighter on the other one. So you can, you know, put on your wall paint essentially, get it sorted, and obviously you'll have to blend it out with different brushes. But you can do that. But I actually use that for my base. And then after I've done that and I wanna make my face shimmer shimmer a bit, I go to my NYX Contour Ales, which is really cool because this palette itself actually has contour and highlighter, eyeshadows and eyebrow stuff in it. We'll get into some of this stuff further. Get yourself a nice contour and highlighter pack. So you can do a lot of stuff with that. You can hide a double chin by putting a bit of contour under here. You can shrink out your nose by putting some contour here and a highlighter here. You do a bit of contour under your cheekbones to help those part. That kind of stuff. You can use it to sculpt your face and as you do more costume looks and you do different makeup for each costume, you'll learn that you can do different things to accentuate different features and also figure out the base stuff that you need to do for you. I have a very kind of round face so I have to use quite a lot of contour to make like my cheekbones or my jawline stand out. So I had to learn that over the years. But you really do want a good contour like stick or powders, whichever one you do better. I like to use both, but like I said, you can use whichever one is good for you. So make sure you grab one of those. And at a later date, I will go through some contour and highlighter tips and tricks for you guys. But right now, basic makeup bits that you need and contour and highlighter are a must if you want to change shape. And we want our characters have different shapes. So with things like Xerneas, I needed to make like this really narrow nose like crazy narrow because you know it's a deer and I needed to be like I'm regal so I made a really really crazy like narrow nose rather than what I usually do and it worked out really cool so like I said that one will be your contour and highlighter do it as you want but just make sure you get one that works for you oh also as I've been going through brushes when you contour I had two different ones I have one that floofs it out and one that makes it very fine sharp lines so on my nose I like to use the fine sharp line and then just kind of blend it out on my skin you're always blending in makeup you're always making sure it blends together and it doesn't look like it's just kind of chucked on there and sitting there. I use this one for down this part of my face to bring my cheekbones out. I use this one to do my nose to make it a bit narrower and I blend out anything I do with like this one as well. So it's really cool. Like I said, you'll need a lot of brushes for different things, but they're worth it, I promise you. All right, onto another essential bit you'll need in your cosplay kit. This is a primer, but it's not for your face, it's for your eyes. This is an eyeshadow primer and my God, get one. I used to do it without and you know when you're putting on like eyeshadow and there's fallout and you get little bits on your face and then when you try to get them off, it kind of smudges and just ruins everything you've just put a nice firm base on. Yeah, this stuff stops that happening. You literally just get a little dab of it and put it over each eyelid and then it will just take immediately. It's fantastic for if you're using very bright colors and you need them to stick and it, it's just incredible, honestly. I, I can't tell you enough but to go and get an eyelid primer like it's so good my gosh I love it so much again mine's NYX because I really like NYX makeup uh, but it's so good I use it for Xerneas and that's how I get the big pop in blue going I use it when I do dual colored because I've got the light blue and the dark blue so really really good really nice stuff it's just a simple thing to put on before you you know go on to doing any of your elaborate eyeshadows you might be doing and it just makes it stick and look nicer and you don't get any fallout and that's really helpful because fallout kind of sucks and it's a bit annoying so yeah get yourself a nice eyeshadow primer it's really good I I promise you, you'll love it once you've got it. Just go buy one. So, you know, we've got our eyelids ready to get some eyeshadow on them. So obviously next you need in your kit is some eyeshadow palettes. Like I said, palettes are just loads of different ones. So there are loads of different ones. This one's really cool. Look at all the different colors. That's funky. There's some bright ones, there's some neutrals. There's, there's a really nice one. And I thought like originally, cause you can see like there's a really bright one down here. I was like, oh, well that's barely gonna take. It's, it's not gonna do what it does. Um, and I tested it without basically any and it like ends up crazy bright. If you see that orange. Yeah, like these colors, they just take really well from the get go. So like, look at that orange and red. That's cool for a Moltres or that. But yeah, they just took really well from the get go. So this was Revolution London. I just saw it on offer and I went, ah, that's cool, I like those colors. So I grab one of those, grab a lot of different palettes, like I said, they're really, really good. You can get ones like this, which are travel and they have lots of different colors in them. You can buy 
giant boxes full of different palettes. Like I said, each costume I do has different ones. You want a nice range? Look at that variety. Lots of variety of eyeshadows, basically. That is what you're aiming for. Lots of different palettes. Like some people make their right palettes when they can't find it. And that's cool too. I also have sort of individual colors. So this is the one I use for Xerneas's base. Um, it's really, really nice to just have a big variety of eyeshadows. I go and buy a new eyeshadow set or that for whatever character I'm doing. So obviously Xerneas was all these blues and that. So I went and got some of those. I've had some cooler colors. I, I built it up over the years. Do not worry if you're going, my makeup kit isn't even half of this. Cause this isn't even half of my makeup kit. They build up as you go along. Like yeah, get a lot of different eyeshadows that work with different costumes that you are doing. It's a good, good thing to do. So I have loads and loads of different brushes that I use for eyeshadows. So I have this one, which is my main one to get a big base on. I'm doing a very big base and it's just like the whole eyelid is basically one color to start things off with. And then I'm blending in different colors to get a different kind of look. That is the one I use. So it's a nice angled brush. I also have a nice poofy one for blending out them and doing big strokes. And then I have um, sort of final ones like this guy. And that's to do with the underneath of my eye here. Underneath my waterline, I just always do like a little black or a different kind of smoky, darker color to make the eyeliner pop. And then I use these two things. These are smudging brushes. I don't know how well you can see them, but there you go. These are smudging brushes. So this is a blending brush and it's cool. And it means that you go over your eyelid with it and you can put color on with it as well. And basically you can just blend out your eyeshadow and make it not just a hard line. You can make it soft and it looks. This one also does the same thing. There are blending brushes. They're cool. Grab some of those. There are a lot of different things you can get for, you know, eyeshadow and that. You can slowly build up your kits. Just try some brushes out, see what works. I am no expert on this kind of stuff. I'm just sort of, you know, have some knowledge, have a diploma in makeup artistry, that kind of thing. No, no expert, just someone who has spent a little bit too much time playing with makeup and will continue to do that for the rest of her life. So I have built up brush collections and I will continue to build up more. So don't worry, like I said, if you haven't got the stuff, you'll get it eventually. Build it up little by little, get these essentials. These brushes part, eh, you might necessarily need all the brushes I've got. Just, just get the essentials. You'll be all right, I promise. Another essential thing that I would say to have in your makeup kit is eyeliner, different types of eyeliner. Yes. So I have like three main eyeliners that I use. I have, this really cool liquid one, which is a really nice tip. And I use that for when I do winged eyeliner. And I do that a lot. It's really good, it's really precision. You can also get ones like this to do winged eyeliner. I do this when I'm doing more complicated designs, like I did it as a massive part. When I had to go onto like my nose for Xerneas to get her right eye shape going, I actually ended up using this one. It was just a lot easier to get. And of course, then you want a pencil one that does your waterline, which is your line under here. These are the three ones you want. These ones are really good for doing like winged eyeliner and stuff and doing like eyeliner details up here. This one's really good for your waterline. So get some like at least a liquid and a pencil and you'll be good, I promise. I know winged eyeliner is a beast, but you'll get it. Trust me, I got there and I have no idea how I did it, but you'll do it too. All right, our next one is basically eyebrow stuff. Uh, you need to fill in your eyebrows if you're like me. I have very thin eyebrows naturally. Like, I don't know, I just kind of lose my eyebrow hairs out of nowhere and I need to fill them in. And also you can create different looks with different eyebrows. So the more arched they are, the like more they change up your face. And that kind of stuff. Again, we'll go in it at a different point in time. Yeah, so I tend to use uh, powder like these two down here. I don't have light eyebrows, so that's for like more of a blondie. I know I'm blonde, but I have dark ones. So I tend to use this one, and there's also dark, or you can use pencils, but whatever you want to like fill in your eyebrows with. And then I tend to use this brush to comb comb my eyebrows into shape so I can pluck out any hairs that are out of place or that. And then I used like a brush like this, just a nice flat head to draw on my designs basically. But get those in your kit. It's just kind of like the finesse touch that you'll need to change up your eyebrow shape. It's really good to have. Just, just get some basically, they're good. I promise you everything I'm saying in this video is essential to my cosplay looks. It might not be to yours, but maybe you could add some in. I don't know. Or you could share tips with me in the comments. I love hearing about how everyone does different makeup styles. You can always learn, so do that too. That's cool as well. We're down to the last couple of items that I'm gonna list on this video as essentials. I'm not really covering anything lip lip gloss, lipstick, that's your choice. I don't really wear it, and if you do, it's kind of the same as anything else. Get a variety of colors, you know, you can have that. I don't tend to use lip gloss very often, but have some lip gloss and lipsticks in your kit. I don't have any of mine to show off right now, because honestly, they're off, paired off with all my costumes, but I get cool ones. If you're going for very vibrant colors, try and get ones that will stick for a very long period of time, and neutral colors, little like pink baby colored lip glosses are really good. And now I swear we're down to our final few items. The last one I would say is blusher. You can put it along your cheeky bones and it's nice and I use it basically on everything. I use more neutral colors, but get some rosy colors too. They're good. Get a variety of colors that work for each costume if you want to be a little bit more, you know, fresh faced and that. You might want to go with more pinky kind of color. I just like to go darker. I don't know. I'm emo. It's the angst. It's the only way I can show angst through blusher, okay? Deal with that. But yeah, get yourself some blushers. I have some interesting ones, but this was just the quickest one to grab. 
Lots of blushes. This one's cool because it pops on your face that pa pa and it's got a mirror. So once you've got all of your makeup in place, you're gonna kinda wanna keep it in place. You don't want it like smearing down your face Alice Cooper style. Or maybe you do, that's cool too. But you're gonna need some setting spray. It's just spray that you kinda go pacha over your face with and it sets stuff. Some people use hairspray. I know some people are like, hairspray's really bad for you. I also, if I've got a very long day ahead, use a metric load of this and sometimes I just top it up with hairspray. I'm not gonna lie. I do use hairspray for it. But get a finishing spray, it just keeps everything everything in place and it's nice and we want to keep that work of art in place and trust me in cosplay you're probably going to sweat or get wet and you're really going to need this stuff so make sure you set your makeup it's very very important so do that get one of those as well that's like the final piece i would say you need in your kit for now until i flesh it out some more in a later video Awesome, and there you go. There is basically the essentials I carry around with me for makeup that help me do my cosplays. I get some more stuff for each different costume, like I said, lip glosses and stuff, but those are the essentials. So if you're missing some of those, go grab them, try them out, let me know how they go. And what are your essentials? Let me know in the comment section below. Tell me your makeup styles, any tips, tricks you've got. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up so I know that you want more content like this. And of course, check out the other stuff we've got. We do cosplay ideas, we do cosplay tutorials, there's a whole lot of it. Oh, and don't forget, if you want to sign up to my Patreon, you have to find it through a link provided in these videos because apparently my patron with all its tutorials and that is a little bit too mature for young audiences who knew so go check that out this cool perks and of course the best part thank you to all those patrons massive love to you guys if it wasn't for you guys i probably wouldn't be able to make costumes so much much love to them you'll see them at the end of this video because that's where they go on the end screen but i'm saying hi to them here too because i can because it's my video so there you have it if you liked it do the usual stuff and of course subscribe and hit that bell so uh you know you get notified when i release more content because that's really helpful for my channel but thank you guys i hope this helps with your makeup journeys and i can't wait to see the works of art that you create with these i will see you in the next video i'm gonna probably go do something weird that's cosplay related i don't know see you later guys bye